Black Panther is a world leader. That's a responsibility that, that other superheroes don't commonly have. That he has to look out for an entire nation. Soon, there will only be the conquered and the conquerors. The Dora Milaje are women who pledged their lives to the throne and to the security of the kingdom. Wakanda forever! My character, Okoye, is the general of the armed forces as a whole. Okoye represents the old guard and tradition, while my character, Nakia, challenges tradition. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Nakia was born to be a warrior. She was born with a warrior spirit. I got into a disagreement. I made a bit of a mess. It was very, very interesting. The Dora have a way of fighting that was supposed to be inspired by moving as one. The Dora work together to take down somebody, like the fight we have with Killmonger. Step into the spotlight. The action's there. It's not your typical film. It's raw. It's real. Step into the spotlight. Don't freeze. I never freeze. What's good, YouTube, and my returning life gainers? What you're seeing right now was the Marvel schedule of movie releases, but the one we are focusing on today is the Black Panther coming out in less than three weeks right now, and we are so excited. Disney has been doing so much. They done bought Fox, and they're getting ready to get those properties, but we're so excited about this Black Panther because of the cast, because of the soundtrack, because of the action, a lot of things. We've been looking for a good African-American superhero movie, and it looks like we got it. They're saying that it's going to do better than the Avengers, and let's get the conversation popping right now. Avengers did $1.5 billion. Do you think Black Panther is going to do that much? Do you think it's going to beat $100 million in the opening weekend? I know I personally do. But this does not come without controversy from a couple of people, and we'll discuss that in this video. Leave me a comment on what you think, and if you're just now finding my channel for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so that you'll be down every time we drop a Life Gains video. We are one of the most interactive channels on YouTube. We cover so many different subjects, but for this day, we're talking about good entertainment with Black Panther. Let's take a look and let's discuss. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all everything. The sexy as hell host, Life Games channel. One of my most anticipated movies of this year is Black Panther, and it is shaping up to be probably one of the biggest Marvel movies ever. But it's not coming without controversy. So let's talk about it. But before we do that, let me go ahead and put on my plus one glasses of YouTube streaming. Work on skilling up my craft a little bit, giving you guys good YouTube opinion, and let's talk about this thing. So, this movie did a pre-sale online a month before the movie comes out that sold more than any Marvel movie has ever done, more than Avengers, more than all the other stuff in between, right? So, it's looking like this movie might break the bank. Avengers did 1.5 billion. I'm thinking this is gonna do more, and I hope it does, because you've got, for the first time in a major comic book movie, probably about an 85% black cast, and that's something that has never been done before. That's just uh, you know, a nod to Disney's commitment to diversity and inclusion. Having said all that, there was a lot of like controversy online and there was two points of contention. You had some people in the white nationalist camp complaining about all this diversity and you know, just, you gotta just disregard them. And then you also had um, black women sisters complaining about the main antagonist, Michael B. Jordan, who plays Killmonger, dating someone who is racially ambiguous, and some have said she's Caucasian, whatever, you know? Let's talk about why I think this movie is gonna do really, really well. Because 
Avengers done so well because you had comic book nerds who brought people that wouldn't normally see comic book movies out to see it. And then some of those people came to see it twice because it was so good. And with that movie, a lot of us African Americans, we stayed home because a lot of African Americans aren't in the comic book movies. Now we have Black Panther and a lot of African Americans are into this movie and we know it's going to be a good movie. And so they might come back twice. Then you're going to have your people that went to see Avengers who are going to see it anyway. And the new fans that saw Avengers and everything in between Avengers that have become fans are probably going to go see this movie and probably see it two and three times. That's why I personally think this movie is going to do more than Avengers. I think it's going to do more than $1.5 billion. And the sisters that jumped all over Michael B. Jordan, my God. You know, Dr. Martin Luther King fought for diversity and he fought for the rights of African Americans. From everything I read about Michael B. Jordan and the person he's dating, they both are heavily into uh, African American causes, diversity causes, inclusion causes. They're both into that stuff. And so there's a stigma with sisters where they feel like black guys that get, do well or come off, they leave them and go to white women and all this kind of stuff. And I just gotta say, ladies and gentlemen, can we keep the peace on this one? It'd be one thing if my man was acting like Herman Cain, you know, just turn his back on black people after he come up, you know, just damn, I don't wanna have anything to do with y'all. You know, y'all are bad, y'all are nasty. Y'all smell like old underwear, something like that. It's not the case here with Michael B. Jordan. He supports those type of causes. His girlfriend supports those type of causes. And at the end of the day, if you can find love, let us find love. You know, let that love shine through. You know, we're in a generation now where we've got to break through some of these stereotypes to show that they're just negative stereotypes. And I think Michael B. Jordan, has he's done that a long time ago. He's been earned his keep to date whoever the hell he wants to date. And you know, still show that he's an inclusionary person and he supports these causes. So that's it, get over that. The white nationalists getting mad that this is a black movie. I read one comment where a guy said Black Panther movie. And he's thinking that it means brother man movie. No, this is a comic book character, my man. And it was written by Stan Lee all the stuff that they're portraying in the movie in terms of the African garb, the African wear, that was portrayed by Stan Lee way back in the 60s and 70s. So just get over yourself on that one and go experience a good movie. Stop hating because this is a 85% African-American cast when up to this point, everything has been the complete opposite. You know, talent is talent. A good movie is a good movie. And this is going to definitely be a good movie. So let me know in the comment sections below. Have you got your tickets already or are you planning to go see it? And what do you think about these controversies that have popped up from the pre-sales and all the, the hoopla going around with this movie before it comes out? And right now we are a little less than a month away and I can't wait. I'm excited. You guys let me know what should I do to keep this thing hyped? Y'all want to see me dress up in the Black Panther suit, put on a helmet. Y'all want to see me do interviews outside the movie theater with regular folk. Y'all want to see me interview the cosplay girls. What can I do to give you an entertaining experience as we lead up into the Black Panther movie? And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there, get yourself that life game. Engage me on this one. Let me know which direction to go in because you guys have made this channel what it is through your comments, through your likes, through hitting me on Facebook, through getting on my Patreon, becoming a person that donates to my channel. Let me know what I can do. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. 
You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Game.